Have you ever looked at a supplement bottle and wondered, is this actually making a difference? In the world of health and wellness, perhaps no supplement is talked about more than omega-3 fish oil. Your doctor might have suggested it, your kids might have bought you a bottle, or you might have read about it in a magazine. But the real question is, what happens if you actually take it consistently? Not just a pill here and there, but every single day for a month? Will that nagging joint pain ease up? Will your memory feel just a little bit sharper? Will you actually feel a difference, or is it just wishful thinking packed into a soft gel capsule? Today, we're going on a journey. Together, we're going to explore what really happens inside your body, from your brain, to your heart, to your joints, when you give it a steady dose of omega-3s for 30 days. This isn't about a magic pill, but about understanding the power of nourishing your body with consistency. And be sure to stay tuned, because there's one surprising benefit that few people talk about, one that could change how you view your emotional health as you get older. Before we go any further, if you feel that these kinds of deep, science-based conversations about health are what you need, please take a moment to hit that like button for this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support truly helps us continue to bring valuable content to our community. All right, let's begin our 30-day journey. I want to introduce our friend, Barbara. Barbara is 68, a retired school teacher. She loves her garden, but lately, the aches and pains in her knees and hands have taken some of the joy out of it. Her memory isn't what it used to be, either. She often walks into a room and forgets why she's there. Her doctor suggested fish oil, and she decided to give it a serious one-month try. We're going to follow Barbara's journey week by week. Number 1. Week 1. Putting out the smoldering fire. During the first week, Barbara starts taking her fish oil capsules every day. To be honest, she doesn't feel any major difference right away. Her joints still ache, and she still feels a bit forgetful. She starts to wonder if this is just a waste of money. This is a very common feeling, and it's based on a misunderstanding of how omega-3s work. They aren't like a pain pill that works within an hour. Think of omega-3s as a highly effective fire department for your body. Inside all of us, there's a process called inflammation. A little bit of inflammation is good. It's how your body heals from an injury. But as we get older, or due to the modern diet, we can develop a state of chronic, low-grade inflammation. This isn't a blazing fire, but a smoldering one, burning quietly beneath the surface in your joints, your blood vessels, and even your brain. This smoldering fire, as mentioned in countless studies in journals like The Lancet, is one of the root causes of many age-related diseases, from arthritis to heart disease. Omega-3s, specifically two key fatty acids called EPA and DHA, are nature's most powerful anti-inflammatories. When you start taking fish oil, you're not just taking a pill. You are sending an elite firefighting squad to the smoldering areas of your body. Their job is to create compounds called resolvins and protectins, powerful molecules that put out and resolve inflammation. And this isn't just a nice story. The science proves it. Many studies show that consistent omega-3 supplementation can significantly reduce inflammatory markers in the blood. One of the most important is C-reactive protein, or CRP. Think of CRP as a smoke detector in your bloodstream. When a doctor tests for it and finds it's high, it means there's an inflammatory fire somewhere in the body. When you take omega-3s and that CREP number goes down, it's proof that the fire department is doing its job. 
During that first week, this fire department is just arriving on the scene. They're assessing the damage, rolling out the hoses, and getting to work. You might not feel it on the outside, but at a cellular level, a profound shift is beginning. Barbara may not feel relief yet, but the foundation for healing is being laid. Do you ever get discouraged when a new health habit doesn't show immediate results? Understanding what's happening under the hood can help us stay patient. Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 2. Week 2. Lubricating the joints and easing the aches. Around the middle of the second week, Barbara starts to notice something subtle. When she gets out of bed in the morning, her knees don't feel quite as stiff and painful. Walking down the stairs seems a little easier. The aching in her knuckles after an afternoon of gardening doesn't seem quite so intense. This isn't her imagination. The Omega-3 Fire Department is now in full swing. They've gotten the inflammatory fire in her joints under control. This is such a well-documented effect, especially for rheumatoid arthritis, that organizations like the Arthritis Foundation acknowledge its benefits. Think of the cartilage in your joints like a sponge. Chronic inflammation is like constantly wringing out that sponge, leaving it dry, brittle, and painful. Omega-3s work in two ways. First, studies show they reduce the enzymes that break down cartilage. Second, they act as a natural lubricant. They help the synovial membrane, the lining of your joints, produce a better quality lubricating fluid, like adding oil to a squeaky door hinge. For Barbara, this meant the relief she was feeling was real. It wasn't the powerful, immediate relief of an Advil, but a gentle, gradual easing. It was the feeling of her joints being soothed from the inside. This change was enough to give her a spark of hope. Is joint pain holding you back from the activities you love? Knowing there's a way to address the root cause, not just the symptoms, can be empowering. Number 3. Week 3. The Fog Lifts. Fueling the Brain. This is the week that Barbara starts to notice a change she wasn't expecting. One afternoon, she's on the phone with her daughter and instantly recalls the name of a restaurant they went to months ago, a name she'd struggled to remember before. She notices she's walking into rooms and forgetting why she's there less often. The brain fog she had grown accustomed to seems to be lifting a little. This has a deep, scientific reason. According to the National Institutes of Health, NIH, your brain is over 60% fat, and a huge portion of that fat is DHA, one of the stars of omega-3. Think of DHA as the primary building material for your brain cells. The membrane of every brain cell, where all the signals are sent, is made of DHA. As we get older, or if our diet is deficient in omega-3s, these cell membranes can become stiff and rigid. Nerve signals can't fire as efficiently. Communication between brain cells gets sluggish. This is the physiological cause of brain fog. When Barbara gave her brain a steady supply of DHA, she was literally rebuilding her brain cells, making those membranes more fluid and responsive. This is why major observational studies, like those published in the journal Neurology, have consistently linked adequate omega-3 consumption to better memory and a lower risk of age-related cognitive decline. This mental boost has a profound effect on Barbara's confidence. She feels sharper. That quiet fear of losing it starts to fade. Do you ever get frustrated by those senior moments? Knowing you can actively nourish your brain health is a powerfully hopeful idea. Number 4. Week 4. A calmer heart and a brighter mood. By the end of the month, 
Barbara is feeling an overall shift. But two specific benefits surprised her the most. First, she had a routine checkup, and her blood pressure was a little lower than her last visit. The American Heart Association, AHA, has long recognized that omega-3s can help reduce triglycerides and support overall heart health. By reducing inflammation in the blood vessels, they help keep arteries more flexible and healthy. For Barbara, it was reassurance that she was doing something good for her body's engine. But the second benefit was the real surprise. It's the one I hinted at in the beginning. Barbara noticed her mood was generally better. She felt less anxious, calmer. Big meta-analyses, published in journals like Translational Psychiatry, have shown that EPA, DHA's sibling, has a significant effect on improving symptoms of depression. It works on inflammatory pathways in the brain that are linked to mood. For Barbara, this was the greatest gift. The joint relief was wonderful. Feeling mentally clearer was a relief, but feeling calmer, happier, and more emotionally resilient, that's what truly changed the quality of her day-to-day -day life. Did you ever think a nutrient for your heart and joints could also be one of the best tools for your mental health? It's a powerful connection we often overlook. Number 5. The Surprising Truth You're not just adding, you're replacing. Now before we talk about which fish oil to buy, I want to pause for a mindset shift. This isn't a tip or a benefit but a profound truth about how our bodies work, one that completely changed how Barbara saw her fish oil capsule. She used to think she was adding something good to her body, like putting a fresh coat of paint on a house. But the truth is much more powerful. You are not just adding, you are performing a cellular replacement. Think about the modern American diet. It's loaded with another type of fat called omega-6, found in vegetable oils, like soybean and corn oil, that are in most processed foods. Omega-6s aren't inherently bad, but when we eat too many, they tend to be pro-inflammatory. They are like dry kindling for that smoldering fire we talked about. Historically, Humans evolved on a diet with an omega-6 to omega-3 fat ratio of nearly 1 to 1. That is, for every one part omega-6, there was one part omega-3. Today, in our modern food environment, that ratio is often estimated to be as high as 20 to 1. This profound imbalance is what fuels that smoldering fire of inflammation. Every cell in your body has an outer membrane, and that membrane is built from the fats you eat. When you begin to consistently supplement with omega-3s, something magical happens. Your body starts to replace the pro-inflammatory omega-6 molecules in your cell membranes with flexible, anti-inflammatory omega-3 molecules. You are literally changing the building materials of your body you're turning flammable walls into fire-resistant ones. When Barbara understood this, everything changed. The fish oil pill was no longer a supplement. It was a reconstruction tool. Each capsule was a new shipment of high-quality building materials for her joint cells, her brain cells, and her heart cells. She wasn't just hoping to feel better. She was actively becoming a a stronger, more resilient version of herself, from the inside out. Does this mindset shift change how you see supplements? Does knowing you're actively rebuilding your body give you a greater sense of control? Number 6. Your Lesson and Action Plan At the end of her 30-day experiment, Barbara was convinced. She didn't turn into a superhero. She still had good days and bad days. But there was an undeniable shift in her baseline. 
Now, if you're inspired by Barbara's story, how do you get started safely and effectively? Here is your action plan. 1. Quality is king. Not all fish oil is created equal. Look for a reputable brand that has a third-party test its products. Independent organizations like IFOS, the International Fish Oil Standards, provide reports on purity, potency, and stability. 2. Read the label carefully. Don't just look at the total milligrams of fish oil. Turn the bottle over and look for the important numbers, the total amount of EPA and DHA. A good starting dose for general health, based on numerous clinical studies, is a combined total of about 1,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA per day. 3. Choose the triglyceride form. Fish oil comes in two main forms, ethyl ester and triglyceride. Pharmacokinetic studies show the triglyceride form, you might see it abbreviated as TG on the label, is the natural form found in fish and is much better absorbed by your body. 4. Take it with food. Taking your fish oil capsules with a meal that contains some healthy fat, like avocado or olive oil, will significantly boost their absorption. 5. Talk to your doctor. This is non-negotiable, especially if you are on a blood-thinning medication like warfarin, also known as Coumadin. Fish oil can have a mild blood-thinning effect, so your doctor needs to know you're taking it to ensure there are no interactions. 6. Be patient and consistent. Remember Barbara's first week. The most profound changes don't happen overnight. Commit to taking it for at least one month, or better yet, three, to truly gauge its impact on your body. Barbara's 30-day journey shows us a simple but profound truth. Small, consistent changes can lead to remarkable improvements in our health. She wasn't just taking a pill. She was quenching inflammation, lubricating her joints, rebuilding her brain, and calming her heart. Aging doesn't have to mean accepting an inevitable decline. We have tools, backed by science, to nourish our bodies and minds, allowing us to keep doing the things we love. Whether that's gardening, playing with grandkids, or simply feeling sharp and present in our own lives. Now it's your turn. What part of Barbara's journey resonated most with you? Was it the idea of an internal fire department or the surprising truth about replacing your cells? What's one small step from the action plan you feel you can take starting today? If this video brought you value and clarity, please hit that like button and share it with a friend who you know might be struggling with pain, brain fog, or is simply looking for a way to feel better. And don't forget to subscribe for more straightforward, helpful advice. Remember, you have the power to nourish your health from the inside out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.